Oh, not, not at all. Um, I think it's more on how we played and the things that we can do better than it is the result. <clears throat> and there's uh, a lot of things that we can do better from the, the first night. A lot of things that we, we've done considerably well, um, you know, before that training camp here at practice. Um, so I think those are the things that you measure um, more so than the, the result. Um, and the good thing is they're all things that we can control, um, all of our mistakes. So um, also understanding the marathon and, and how we can continue to get better at those small things along the way. Um, that, that's really the case here, yeah. Should we expect you to shoot 7-7 seven seven for 3 every night? Or? Definitely not. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's just the understanding of um, being a professional athlete and playing for your home country as much passion and pride you have to do it. It does take up, you know, a big part of the year playing basketball almost year round. So I think understanding now from a professional athlete standpoint on how to look after your body so that it's at its uh, a peak level, elite level when you need it to be. So um, I, I think I was very happy with the, the ramp up, the build up stage to get me ready for um, opening night. Um, but for me and how I like to see it is you, you, you set a bar from that standpoint um, and you continue to grow and continue to, to build from, from that all things basketball. Not really. I've kind of worked out what's good for me, um, given my stature. Um, I got to get the little secrets, you know, to be able to p perform at the elite level. Um, but but it is um, in the kitchen. It is um, in the weight room, um, Pilates. Um, you know, all kind of stuff that helps me get my body ready to, to be on the court. And then it's all the recovery things after that standpoint. So. To answer your question, no, not really. It's just taken, you know, a lot of experience to work out what's, you know, particularly good for me. Um, but then, like I said, playing year round is tough. So then it's it's all new again to work out what you need to do. So every every year has been different from that standpoint. Yeah. I remember when we talked about uh, how you thought you'd be a good fit, how this offense kind of freed you up a little bit. To do. I'm just curious, what about this team? I think um, IQ first and foremost, even before getting on the court, um, everyone's IQ has, is, is very high in, in how to play the game, um, understanding how to play with teammates, uh, I think it starts there. So when you walk out onto the court now, you, you make cuts knowing that if you make a good cut here, the ball is going to probably come your way and to be ready for it. So I think it's little things like that where if you take control of yourself and you make the right cut or you make the right screen, then something good will probably come out of it. Um, other than that, it, it, is, uh, it is an empowering environment, um, not only from the coaching staff, but the players as, as well. Um, and I think that's an important part um, in the whole purpose of where we're wanting to, to go. Um, everyone's got to feel good. And there's going to be ups and downs, and we understand that. But um, I think I mentioned it before about not riding the waves too high or too low and keeping it you know, a steady keel along the way. So back to the, the measurements of, you know, those little detailed things that we can get better at. Yeah, um, I think, um, I don't know how to truly answer that question because I'm still feeling my, my way in. Um, but, but in saying that, I, I think it's just trying to work out um, the group and, and what's needed for the group from my standpoint and how to maximise that little opportunity there. Um, but yeah, having the trust and respect from your teammate is, is where it starts and I think that's getting to know guys off the court, uh, even before basketball, um, at least starting to. Um, so I think it's like we always say, it's a marathon of a season and you're able to um, gain some strides in, in that 
aspect of things. Um, but yeah, you, nothing can really get done until you know you gain that trust and respect from from your teammates, and then you can work out how to how to evolve from there. Oh yeah, I, I think that comes with experience. Um, inexperience, I think, not only opening night loss, but little wins or little losses, you know. Um, and I think over time, understanding the big picture here, you know. Um, and, and I think that's that's where where we're at. Um, new team, new faces, new everything, whatever you want to say. Big picture is we want to be the last um, team standing. This is the journey that's gonna um, gonna take to, to get us there. So fix all the fine fine line details in between, but this is always forward moving and eliminate the, the backward steps I would say. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that you know we'll work out and, and have a better understanding of the combinations as we go. But I can tell you, playing with um, not only Joe but James as well at the same time, and having both of them and Kevin out there, I mean, it's it's uh, it's it's a tough lineup when you consider the the space that we're able to create, um, not only for shots but then for for driving lanes and that. So. Um, I've been fortunate enough to play with the different combinations overall, and I've really loved, um, obviously, playing with with other shooters out there. Any more facts in there? That could be <laughs> with black socks on, and maybe, uh, yeah, gotcha. Um, no, not really. I mean, obviously. You know, it it, it it is it comes a lot easier when you catch the ball right in the bread basket here, and James manages, and you know other guys who manage to you know put the ball right here. Um, but, but I think it was greater than that. You know, my mindset was um, where the team was at, how we were trying to climb back and just get over the hump, which we couldn't quite do. Um, getting guys organised and in spots, um, both ends of the floor really um, have the correct spacing. So there was always um, something greater. You know, that we just try to get over the hump team-wise more than anything. Um, but again, we're, we're all feeling that out, and um, you know, for me. Continuing to have that aggressive mindset, I think, and, and even more some um, to be able to create, you know, try not to have too many dry possessions is probably the goal. Yeah, um, close in certain things, and, and um, obviously his his journey um, has gone to the, the path that, that it has, um, and, and watching from afar with the, the recent stuff is, is going on, but um, yeah, I would say with the national team stuff, we, we've um, you know come quite close. Um, yeah. Have you talked to him throughout this? I haven't. I haven't. The last time I, I spoke to him was uh, for the the national team stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, as a teammate, as a teammate, as a fellow countryman, um, you know, I look at him. Although he hasn't played, you know, with us for for the Boomers, you know, that's how I see him. So you always wish the best, um, you know, and never want to see teammates, you know, or help out as much as much as you can. Yeah.